The Ferrari 488 Pista is one of those cars that makes you wonder where we are all going to end up in 10 years time. Its rate of progress over the 458 Speciale that it loosely replaces is that incredible and that massive objectively. You almost wonder if there's a model in between that you've somehow forgotten about. Based on the already rapid 488 GTB, the Pista is lighter, louder, more powerful and a lot more focused in its chassis setup. It also generates 40% more downfalls than a regular 488, so it's much quicker around the track. Not least because it also wears a set of Pilot Cup 2R tyres and, in this instance, a set of optional carbon fibre wheels that help bring the unsprung mass even further down, allowing it to deliver even quicker lap times. So just how quick is the mighty Pista around the coastal circuit at Anglesey? On the instructions of the numerous Ferrari engineers present, I switched the Manatino to CT off and headed out on a drying but still slightly damp circuit to begin to find out. damp areas. Ferrari's engineers said these wouldn't really matter so long as the Pista's Cup 2R tyres could reach at least 50 degrees C, which they just about did. So sit back, relax and enjoy the ride. This thing feels absolutely, not raving mad, but just rabid in everything it does. Its acceleration is bonkers. Its gearing, because you are accelerating so fast, you just go up the gears. I'll show you in a minute how fast you have to upshift in order to not hit the limiter. The traction it's got is monster. But it's the chassis. The chassis on this thing feels so nicely developed. The front end, the back end, the middle of it, it just feels so nicely balanced and so perfectly precise. And that's the steering. I know Ferrari steering you do have to get used to, you have to reprogram your brain a bit, but half a lap and you just steer this thing with your mind. It is, it is absolutely phenomenal around this track. And on Cup 2 R's, it's got insane amounts of grip as well. And as you can hear, it makes quite a nice noise too. Right. Have a look at this down the pit straight. Second. Third. Fourth. Fifth. <laughs> It's just barking mad, this car. It feels utterly different from a regular 488. I mean, come on. This is a road car.
So there you go. In the end, the Pista did a 1 minute 10.8, making it the fastest supercar we have ever timed around Anglesey. And the mad thing is, I reckon it might have gone a good half second quicker in bone dry, warm, perfect conditions. It's quite a car, is the Ferrari 488 Pista. It's not just the speed it can generate that blows your mind, but also the noise it makes whilst doing so, the balance it has near the limit, the way it stops, and the way it changes gear. It is an astonishing thing to experience, at any speed and on any road, but especially at full beams around a circuit like this. As we said at the beginning, it does make you wonder what on earth they'll come up with next.